back on ESPN and the Watch ESPN app. My name is Dave Vincent alongside Dave Fink for this men's quarterfinal match. Emmett Pichot going up against Nate Alvarado, who <laughs> has become quite the rival with Emmett. I said earlier before the break that Nate uh, being, you know, mainly the best player in Southern California throughout the years, and as Emmett Pichot was growing up in Northern California, All he right, we have the men's quarterfinal had a match. rivalry with Nadia Alvarado as Emmett was the number one player Nadia in Northern Alvarado California. Jr. Here's the announcement from our referee, John Iglesias. Receiving serve, Emmett Pichot. <laughs> we have two linesmen, Jonathan here and Andy on the left. All right, zero serving, zero. And right away, Dave, you see the difference between an elite level player like Emmett Pichot, Two. who lost that Point. rally, but such an amazing serve from Nadi, and he just defended it perfectly. He threw it up high to wall, then made another great retrieve, and Nadi had to hit three great One shots serving, to win that rally. Zero. Now, last night, or against guys that aren't in this elite range, he would have won the point on the serve. Look at that great serve. Point. Well, we maybe I should stop talking. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> because that was a good serve. Though. Oh, that was amazing. Two serving zero. Now, you know how I hate to interrupt you. Yeah. When you're talking. And I think you might have got another one. No, Emmett goes around the revolving door. Look at that Side elite out. left corner kill from Pichot. Also, I made an error earlier. Yeah, I rarely. I like Zero, to defend my own two. errors. I'm yeah. not going to this time either. I said Nadi was 43. He's Short. only 41. Yeah, I thought so. And I, you know, I'm not that guy that likes to correct you. So I, I didn't step in. Yeah, well, you know how that is with me. Everybody like in Nadi's family are not that guy because they stepped in and did correct. Mm. Don't blame them. Yeah, I just want to be unsubscribed from that text thread. If that's, I don't think you're on it. No, I am. Unfortunately, I don't like that. And Dave, Emmett Pichot is always motivated. He comes to these events, and this is all business for him. For Nadi Alvarado, Dave, I think he's got extra One motivation. This two. is a guy that he really wants to beat. I mean, it's a friend of his, but this is a guy he says, I can beat Emmett. I think he would think this Point. is a good draw for him. And in fact, I think one of the reasons he came back is because he was watching Emmett from San Francisco two, on his couch and two. saying, I can play with this guy. You know, and now he, here he is. Well, I Sometimes think when you, you get older, you, your body tells you when you should and shouldn't be entering tournaments. And I think Nadi's body said it's time to enter again. He looks really spry. Played over. The referee will have his hands full in okay. this match, Dave. I think that's pretty clear. Sure. Through four points, Dave. These guys have already played longer than the first 13 points took in our last match. Yes, yeah, fast okay. as the last one was, this one probably won't be. Sure. Unless that body of Nadi catches up to him. And Nadi said, you know, what I watched you do in San Francisco is nothing mm. like what I could do here in New York. And already Nadi has pulled out that you never tried to clean this, the wall off with a towel. And as you saw from that camera angle, two that towel looked like two. it was wet. And it <laughs> I don't, and short. obviously not on purpose, that was short. But Peeling the serve. you saw as Nadi put that One towel three. over the left wall, you saw the wall was actually Second wet serve. after he put mm. that on there. Not on purpose, but it, I think that towel just had some condensation on it. Side out. Wow. And Nadi overrules the ref there. Played over. That's a nice call from Nadi Alvarado there. Well, Nadi knows he could have got that. Let's see how it goes here. Over. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And Emmett's not going to complain, though. Two, serving two. Short. Second serve. Mm. 
You know, Dave, so much of these matches are about momentum. You saw John Iglesias never able to stop Sean's momentum, but Emmett's the kind of guy that can weather the storm Point. and then just seize the momentum and never really allow you to gain any momentum. Right. And it's just a matter of those Three, first couple two. rallies. He takes you out of the front court. Short. Now all of a sudden, your mindset's changed from, well, I'm just going to serve and kill everything to this guy's put, bring my serve Take back, serve. push me out of the front court. Right. And th these are little things, Dave, that happen. Cool. Side out. And the same thing would happen if Emmett was playing Sean just uh, last match. Emmett would have found a way to return those serves and put Sean in the backcourt and start a rally and start a real match. And Dave, apparently these guys are already in a full sweat, three, five points into the match. I guess that hamstrings stretching, team stretching they did was, <laughs> I guess play. they broke Two out. serving three. Yeah, Two I mean, three. I never sweat that much when I was stretching. Short ball. That'll be appealed. I called the serve short. Two serves. Bad break for Nadi as he put that next shot away. Slide. Ooh. Ooh. Calling a slide on that ball. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Emmett saw it too and he said, I agree, but it was a really good shot. Well, it's true. It, it, I mean it, it was, was a, a good it shot. It was a yeah. really good shot. Yeah. But the ball did slide. Two serving three. It's just over the line. Nadi's serve is just. But Nadi still has to hit a very difficult kill shot there to win that rally. I mean, that was not a straightforward, easy first strike kill. That was a falling back shoulder three height. That's what you have three. to do when you're playing the yeah. number two ranked player on the tour. Soon to be number Short. two. That'd if he wins this match. Yeah. yeah. Love watching these two matchups, Dave. You have to say your all time top or current top five favorite matchups. Emmett's in a bunch of them. You'd have to say Emmett and Naughty, Emmett and Sean Lenning. Emmett and everybody. Sean Seems Lenning like and Alan Garner. Luis Moreno and Paul Brady. Not when Luis is in New York. Or Houston or Denver or. Uh, well, Denver, they did play an amazing Four match. Four serving three. Maybe you don't remember that. No, I do remember, but. John Bike said it was a practice match. So it was. Well, you had disagreed with him at the time, but apparently you've come to your senses uh, now. Because I know he's listening. Point. Mm. People change their opinions, Dave. I know you do. You're very Five flexible. Five serving <laughs> three. <laughs> Five to three. You're like Gumby. Wow, oh, that was a terrible error from Emmett. Point. Dave, notice after Naughty's serve, he backs up into that dotted line behind the dotted line area. I, I don't know why he does that. Such a great serve, you'd think he'd look for the fly kill on the next shot, but he has this. Six serving three. I don't know if you'd call it a habit, or, but watch how he'll serve and back up. Short. Oh, he this time, when he <laughs> serves short, he goes forward, though. So it's the reverse. The serve goes in, he goes back. Short serve, he goes all the way to the front it wall. It just seems to Second me that it's serve. he's trying to cut an angle of the return back. Okay. Well, no, I, I, I guess it's a part of his strategy. I mean, he's a shot maker. So yeah. whatever it is, as one of the most consistent players Point. ever on tour, I, I'll take it. Naughty's jumped out to an early lead here. Seven serving three. Seven to three here on ESPN and the Watch ESPN app. We're in the quarterfinals. Just over the line there. Naughty's hitting some really good in between shots, Dave. Like that right there. No, I like that. that he's cutting the ball and it slides. Well, what I mean is. 
when he doesn't have an offensive opportunity, he's not giving him an offensive opportunity. See, there's another one that you're talking about. Here, now he's gonna go for that one though. Pushes it around and Emmett's Over. unable to get to it and the ball slides in that left corner. Now these balls are sliding, but like Emmett said earlier, these are good shots too. It's kind of frustrating that as the- That was a good shot. Uh, as the shot maker, because all Emmett's gonna do is float that ball back up into play and now he's gonna have a big setup. Now obviously you have to call the slide, but you know, as a shot maker, Dave, you're saying to yourself, it's Dave, frustrating. This is the angle right here. You can see that that is more wet I think it's just the sheen from no, the wall. No, it's not. <laughs> no, that's a new towel that was just brought into the court of uh, just out of the dryer, Dave. We ordered 30. Look. See, Naughty can see it too. It's as if it's not working. Towel's not working. That well, maybe there's we dampness. Maybe that on dryer, the court. Ne you need to have a different setting on the dryer than air fluff. Yeah, max get, get dry. The, <laughs> yeah, get rid of the humidity. Setting on that dryer. I don't know what well it's They need called. a dehumidifier in this court. Yeah. Looked like it was getting more wet after he put that Resume play. brand new dry towel on there. Back seven in though, serving seven three. to three. This court has not slid at all until this, this match started. Naughty late to get out of the box there. Almost gets that front wall. Right Weird out. contact and stuff going over there on that right side. Last time we saw these guys play, Dave, was at the Plummer pre-race event in seven. September. And Nadi told me privately, although it's not private anymore, that he felt really good going into that match and just had sort of a slight muscle strain at the beginning of that match and just really wasn't able to compete the way he had hoped. Which event was that? That was at the Plummer pre-race oh bash. Yeah. Yeah. Seven serving three. That was a semifinal match. Emmett went on to win that tournament, which was his Short first ball. yellow jersey, although technically not a race win. We've had 27 race events. This is our 27. Second serve. Paul Brady winning eight of those. Luis Moreno winning nine. Sean Lenning three. Robbie McCarthy two. Alan Garner one. Point. Charlie Shanks, two. Katrina Casey. Well, that's the women's race, Seven. right? Actually, oh. five. Okay. Eight, serving three. Short. That one, I think, hit the line. Yeah. A little bit shy of on the inside. Second serve. Slide ball, jumps out. Well, sometimes, Dave, the ball hits, takes those weird bounces in the corners, and it's not necessarily a slide. Yeah, this court Played isn't over. the Eight most sturdy court three. that we've seen on the tour. It's it probably the second behind Tucson, the show court of having some strange bounces in here. It's a good court, but we've seen some weird bounces here. Look at that. You know, Dave, to this point, Emmett looks a little bit like Stephen Cooney did last night playing Naughty. He's got the, the shovels, as you would say, just kind of flipping the ball back into play. He's not able to dictate any of these rallies, and Naughty is consistently hitting the ball harder than Emmett on every shot. And that's because he's driving the ball Nine into serving three. Emmett's chest, and Emmett doesn't have an opportunity to take a full swing. It starts with this serve, and you well, look, see that. That's look a great what you have return. to do to get the ball back, though. That's what a great return, though, does. Naughty gets impatient there. He says to himself, well, if I throw this into the left side wall and hit a three-ball shot, Side Emmett's going to take a fly kill. I can't hit to the three ceiling from here, nine. so you just have to go for something. I think it's the right play, but it's also a very difficult shot. Well, he was off balance, fading, jumping in the air all at the same time, and everything has to go right. Naughty has Emmett pinned. Now Naughty's pinned, and he won't catch up to that one. Point. Point. Emmett with a high percentage winner there. And Dave, Emmett does not have to allow Naughty to see the ball there. Naughty has a habit of asking for the ball when his opponent's serving, but the rules state that you don't have to show your opponent the ball. Maybe true, but this 
court is sliding and Emmett is serving that ball over to that left well, wall. You have I to ask the referee if you can you're right. see the ball. Yeah. And David is it's chilly in these in this court. I would say just just below room temperature. It's about sixty eight degrees in there and yet Emmett already in a full sweat. Four serving nine. Yeah, it's a little bit cooler today than it was Hold yesterday. It. And David, is this a coincidence that we have Emmett and Naughty replaying? Well, that's our 11th replay on a slide, but we haven't seen one replay in any other match on this court? Uh, is it just so happened at this moment that their match started that the court got wet? Four serving nine. I mean, I'm just asking a question. No, I, yeah, to answer yeah. it, it would be yes. A coincidence. A coincidence. Okay. Look at that shot. Side out. But the ball is not sliding on the right side. So maybe <laughs> it is actually wet on the left because uh, that's where all the slides are happening. So you're saying nine that Paul Brady's four. match happened to be right now that he would be calling these well, slides? Well, it'll be right after this. Okay, so we'll I've never heard out. Paul Brady call a slide ever. Replay. And another replay, Dave. Yeah. Nine plays four. Oh my God, that's that one of the best shots I've ever seen in my life. That was Dave. right down the middle. Point. It, Emmett was right there though. Which is odd First because timeout, Naughty hit that way. absolutely perfect well, in a timeout being called here on the floor. I know our referee's going to take charge and go down there and clean up these courts with the with the towel. But yeah, but Dave, have you ever seen a shot like this? No, that was un that's unreal. Let's I go mean, to Kara Mac courtside right now. Kara, what's going on? Hey guys, I'm with Danny Cordova. We were, we were watching this match with you. What are you thinking right now as far as how Naughty's playing? He's playing real well. I think he's been working on his serve. I mean, work working on his arm strength. I don't know what he does. I think he has a video of how to get stronger, but his serve is really strong right now. And yesterday I was refing his match, and his serves, I mean, they look like they're going to be short, and then all of a sudden, like, I see across the line by that much, I'm like, what? And he serves both ways. You don't know where he's going. Really good serve. Congratulations to you. You won collegiates in Portland just a couple weeks ago. Had a great tournament run so far. You lost a lining in the very beginning to set you back a little bit, but two big wins. How do you feel about your play this weekend? I feel great. Um, I'm, I'm a little tired now because I've had two hard matches, but I'm definitely happy with how I'm playing. I mean, I've got a good serve. Um, I'm hitting more kills than I was before. At Collegiates, I felt that that's kind of where it turned around. The other tournaments, I felt like I wasn't hitting that many kill shots. A lot of passes and a lot of try to hops. And now I'm kind of putting it down more. So I can score points against these really good players, except Sean Lenning, because I don't know what. <laughs> Collegiates fell in the middle of all these pro tournaments. Talk about the difference between the two. Uh, I think the, the, the ball was, I mean, they use a 21 ball. Here we use a 20, the WPH ball. I think that was different, but Collegiates was more intensity. I think it was, it was more people. It's just more pressure, especially because it was my last year and Martin Mulcairn's last year. I mean, people came up to me before the tournament started. They're like, I can't wait to see you in the final against Martin. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to make it to the final. Like, it's going to be hard. It's not easy. And uh, I mean, I'm glad that I, I got to where I wanted. Once I was in the final, I was happy, and then I won. So that just made everything much better. It seems that more and more of the collegiate players are now playing in these pro tournaments. Is it nice to see them come around and be playing them now again here? Yeah, it is. I'm, I'm happy that uh, that they. I'm happy that the WPH is putting all this together. I mean, f it gives everyone the opportunity to come and then qualify. If you qualify, you can start going to more tournaments, and it's hard to get it in there qualifying. But like today, uh, one of the who was it? I know Isaac Acosta, but he's not playing collegiate anymore. But I'm happy to see the collegiate players coming here and competing. And then when I see him over there, it just raises everyone's game. It puts everyone uh, a, a higher level of handball. Beating Luis Moreno gives you a big opportunity in your ma next match. Talk about that in Salt Lake City. Oh, that's going to be really big for me and Stephen Cooney because uh, whoever wins that match, I think, gets invited to Salt Lake City. So it's going to be a huge match for, for both of us. And uh, I'm going to play really hard. Hopefully I can, I can beat him. All right, best of luck to you. And Thank you very much, Danny. Back to you guys. That is going to be very exciting, Dave. That fifth place final will be broadcasted, I believe, and there'll be Resuming a lot play. at stake in that match.
That was a good interview with Danny Cordova. Well, I think Carey's going to be busy during this match ten, because four. I think we'll anticipate a lot more of those mini breaks throughout this game. Point. Dave, I saw Emmett change his shirt just now, and just 15 points 11, into this match, it was four. drenched as though he just jumped in a swimming pool. Yeah. Well, he really hydrates, and that ball was short, right? No call from the ref here. I called the good. Now that, Dave, that was six inches, short right? Ball. He was overturned. Second serve. Naughty must have known it. Naughty could have gone to an instant replay there. Then again, that would have required reading the rule book. No, it's called second serve after the line judges overturned the ref. No, did. but Naughty could have then gone to an instant replay after the appeal went against him. He could have, but why would he? Eight over is too close. Why? <laughs> why would he? Well, because he would have gotten an ace. Well, he he could have turned around and said, "Well, then why didn't you? If it's why didn't he say something to the ref? He didn't have to." No, go to the, the video. ref called it good. And then Emmett appealed it, and then the linesman disagreed with the ref, four. so it became a short serve. Right, which it was. But then Naughty could have gone to an instant replay. He then could have gone to the ref and said, well, I believe it's good. Yeah. He didn't go there. He has to go there before video. He had a chance at the ball. Dave, do you understand what I'm saying? No. He has to at least go to the ref and ask him yeah, I know. first That's before I mean. the replay. That's what I mean, though. Yeah. He could have asked the ref, sure. like the video replay. Our scoreboard had that point for Naughty, but... We have to take it back off. Referee said he felt that Emmett could have gotten it. Well, these last two rallies, Nani's had huge setups and hit the ball right back at himself, and Emmett was in a position where he at least could have returned the ball, so both resulted in hinders. Mm -hmm. It could be 13-4 to four right now for Nani. 11 serving four. Wow. That's a nice shot from Nadia Alvarado. 12 to four is the score here in game it. number one from the 61-year-old Nadia Alvarado. He's actually the father of Nadia Sr. <laughs> oh wait, I might've got that, that age wrong. No, I'd like to hear this, I don't. Pichot is frustrated here because he wants to get the clarification on the on a bad bounce. I didn't see a slide. Did you see a slide on that? Hey, Pichot, Pichot, Pichot. Hi, Pichot. John, from this angle, I thought it was like This is just a ref's call. It's not an appeal call. The ref is going to play it over, I have a feeling. 12 yeah. serving four. He's not. And Dave, it's not the player's call to call a slide, the referee calls it. So Emmett's saying, how could I possibly call a slide? Well, you don't. The ref calls it. Right. He's the only one that can call it. I mean, this eliminates all this Wow, Dave, confusion. that's amazing right there. I think these delays will help Nadi. He'll just be fresher for the next yeah. point. I mean, I think if you're Emmett, you want to just push the issue here and use 13, your fitness. 13, 4. Not, I mean, Emmett is... Well, I think that's Nine what's held Johnny back. I mean, this fast play from the pros. I mean, I think when he watched Emmett and said, you know, two-hour match, I might be able to <laughs> get my legs back during all this towel wiping and stuff. Well, yeah, I mean, you see Luis Moreno playing, and it's, you know, the, the ball is being served within three seconds of the last point, which you know I like. I know. You know, but I think. Over. What's happening in this back corner, Dave? I've watched 16 matches on this court and I haven't seen anything like this. I, I don't know. I, I don't understand. I don't know, but it's really happening, whatever it is. But I, I was under the impression that when a player plays the ball, you can't 13, play it over four. regardless of what. I received messages last night saying, why did you change this bad bounce rule? You should have just left it as it is. <laughs> it was and a, just changed everything. it to make it better. To work. <laughs> no, but they said you should have just left it as it was, which is play everything, like well, every that, other sport does. Well, that's what it is. No, it's not. We're replaying bad bounces now. Yeah, if We're the point. referee sees it, there's a replay. No, yes. but that doesn't happen in any other sport, <laughs> ever. And it didn't happen in our sport until we changed it this season, unfortunately. Well, it did happen in our sport. It's been happening for 4,000 years. It shouldn't be. I mean... Why should we be so different than any other sport that's played? Be 
because we are different. Tom Brady sport. just threw an interception, but the wind was blowing in his Two face seconds. and it swirled. Well, the NFL 25 will change that rule. They will change that rule. No, they won't, though. Oh, the, the wind was blowing 26 <laughs> miles well, per hour. Well, I wasn't expecting that. When it comes so to Tom Brady, they that. will change the rule. Bad analogy. Perhaps. Oops, I just hit one in the drink. I'll just take a mulligan because someone clicked their camera in my backswing. That happens, Ten right? <laughs> <laughs> that does happen in a Tiger match. No? Well, yeah, he throws the camera in the lake, but he still has to deal with wherever the shot ended up. Not in. I can see this play. is getting very not contentious, not, not so I'm going to actually just go ahead. 14, I'm not happy about four. this, though. Not in the. I mean, I know of, that you're the, the devil's of advocate. <laughs> I mean, that's your thing. Not in the court of public opinion, though. This is game point here. And he does game it. Game one. Naughty takes game one. 15 to 4. Dave, I don't think you and I would have predicted this. Well, it wasn't so much that Naughty won that first game. It's he was totally dominant. Emmett didn't do anything really in that first game to disrupt Naughty. Let's quickly go out to Kara Mack, who is courtside right now. Kara? Hey, I'm still with Danny, guys, because he thought he got off the hook. He, he asked, weren't those the five questions when I asked him some questions before? But no, <laughs> he did not get the final five that we're giving everyone today. So are you ready? All right, what is the best thing to do before any handball match? Like to play better, you mean? Yeah, or anything. What the do you like to do? best thing to do. I think stretching is the most important part for me. What? Uh, if I don't stretch, I come in and I start playing, like, I mean, really slow. And if I stretch, like, I start stretching 45 minutes before my match. He'd um, try to drink water. I think that's the best advice I could give. Perfect. All right, if you could beat anyone, past or present, who would it be? Ah, uh, that's a tough one. Past or present? I guess I would have liked to play uh, Nadi Senior. I would have been. I would been. I would like to play him because I've heard a lot. He's from uh, where I was, where I grew up, Juarez, Mexico. So I've I've heard a lot of. Uh, he used to play in a club that I've played in, and uh, he knows everyone that I know. It would have been fun playing him when he was at his prime. At his prime or now? Because I think the Daves might be able to set you up here. No. Oh yeah, that's true, right? <laughs> In his prime, I would have liked to play him in his prime. <laughs> if you didn't play handball, what would you do? Uh, if I didn't play handball, I used to play basketball when I was younger. I don't know if I would have. I mean, I was in. I, I don't know if I would have played better. If I would have given it the time that I give handball, maybe. But thank God I am playing handball. <laughs> I don't know what I would be doing actually. My favorite. If a movie was made about you, who would play you? Ah. <laughs> uh, as an actor? Who are you thinking not an actor? Well, no, I wasn't sure. I, I had you want to play yourself, don't Daniel you? <laughs> I'd play myself. I'd tell him, no, right? someone else is playing me. No one can play, no one can play me. Uh, that's a tough question, because I don't know that many actors. I mean, I do. I don't know their names. Uh, I guess Brad Pitt. <laughs> nice. I <laughs> love it. Good right. choice. <laughs> love it. Describe <laughs> handball in five words. Uh, okay. Intense. Um, like, just hard, challenging, mm, mentally. Like you need to be really smart. I don't know what the word is. It's a language barrier. <laughs> but and then one more would be fun. I think every single player has said hard. Why does that come as a front runner to you? It's just like e even when I see other people play, like my age and I, like at school at Lake Forest, like I try to get some beginners and like I see them try, and a lot of people have a lot of trouble starting. I don't know, like if if you see anyone go play basketball, like they'll shoot and they, they can make a basket pretty pretty easily, but in handball, it's like. There's not that satisfaction in the beginning that oh I'm getting good. It's like no because it takes you really long to to start improving. So I think that's I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of people don't play handball because they try, they kind of disappointed that they're not playing good. And if they play any other sport like golf, like you get a decent swing and you see the ball go really far. It's just like satisfying. And in handball you don't get it until like really late. It's it's just hard to get a get a hang of the game. I think. Why do you think it comes naturally to you, or did it come naturally? It's just taking a lot or it's taking more learning. Um, uh, I started really young. I started when I was 11, and I think I did have a lot of trouble at the beginning. Like, I used to play with my brother and my uncle, and I had two bounces, and they had one bounce. 
and uh, that was easy. But then when I switched to one bounce, it just got really difficult. Brad Pitt would never allow two bounces. You know that, right? <laughs> I know. If he was 11, maybe. Maybe. All right, thank you so much for hanging out. Back to you guys. Thank you very much. As we get ready here for game number two. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Emmett Pichot going up against Nadi Alvarado. Was Nadi taking game number one, 11, excuse me, 15 to four. I remember seeing 11 to four on that scoreboard. But Dave, 15 to four against well, Emmett. I would not guess that, although yesterday's play, Nadi made it kind of more convincing. I don't look too much into the score of one game because these guys are so good, Dave, that they can go on these amazing runs and you know, just kind of blow out even an elite player in one game. So I would be shocked if we saw the same type of score line in game number two. Over. And Emma just a terrible shot there. A huge setup. Could have gotten himself off to a nice start here, but calling the good. Gets it right out of himself. I thought the serve one was short. Three. Yeah, but it's over. Yeah. Not he's saying it should be a second serve. I agree, I thought the serve was short. Zero serving zero. Short. Now Dave, I think Emmett is going to need to go serve. to this ground and pound style to get himself into this match. Play faster, play it more of an up tempo. Point. One serving zero. Dave, you look at the guys that have beat Nadia Alvarado in the last year or two years. It's Luis Moreno, Sean Lenning, Robbie McCarthy. These guys all play that up tempo, fast pace hit the ball hard style. Emmett's, you know, trying Zero, this methodical, one. you know, hitting the ball around the walls and serving slow. And I just don't think it's it's working right now against Nadi. No, not at point. Not because it's not working against Nadi, but Nadi's a shot maker, as you said earlier, but also his serve is just on. And yeah, but Emmett's know. got a good serve. One, it's not the rocket one. that Emmett that Nadi hits, but he's got a nice reverse down the left that We'll get him some setups. But look what Nadi's doing to Emmett. He's keeping him in the back court. You're not seeing Emmett <laughs> run forward and planting his feet much. Everything Emmett's doing is shoveling and running backwards. That was one of the best shots I mean, look that at we've that. ever seen right there. That's yep. just amazing. That was outstanding. Point. But look where Emmett's gone. He's He gets up there near the dotted line and the short line, but he can't do anything. Nadi's forcing him into the back court. Nadi seems to be the one that's stepping forward last. Two serving one. Another amazing serve. That's going to probably point. be replayed, but I, it is a point. And I think that was the right call, and I think a good call because Emmett was playing for that ball to go straight down the right, and then he had to change directions. Of course, Three not he's going to be one. there. I see a lot of referees missed that call. Short. This one didn't. You know, at this tournament. What we've seen is second serve. Paul Brady looks great. Sean Lenny looks great. Andy Nett looks great. Yeah. Nadi Alvaro looks great. And I think all four of those guys are going to be oh in the semifinals. My. Dave, we have to check out that instant replay. Point. Emmett hit a great return there. I thought Nadi would either barely get his hand on it or probably not even. Instead, he sticks his fist out and hits a flat re-kill. Watch this shot, Dave. Four serving one. I think already from Nadi, we've seen three of the best shots I've seen in this tournament. Yeah, that's amazing. Underhand paddle, fist, the control. Side out. Very nice shot from Emmett there, who's falling to his right and, you know, makes a good shot. He's been throwing that ball up around the walls. One serving four. It looked to me that Nadi had an opening over there, but Emmett dug it out. And there's over. a replay here. Ball, the ball probably went. This is the men's quarterfinals. Nadi taking a little extra time here to get this ball. Emmett talking to himself. Really, there that was Nadi throwing the ball up to the referee and having him wipe it because one serving four. But this dry fit clothing, he just can't get. And that's. That's what Point. I'm saying there. Emmett has a nice serve. It might not be 80 miles per hour like Nadi's, but he's going to get setups and points off of this serve, Two much more so four. than those lob serves. Short. Ball was Sorry, good. That ball was short by yeah, four way inches. Way short. Second serve. Okay. Sorry, hold on. Well, that's why we have linesmen, Dave. The second it serve. happens. Well, we saw one earlier today that was, well, that was a foot short. Bad. 
I've never seen that before. And now Emmett showing some signs of life. A nice Point. running right-handed kill and a serve and then a first strike kill there. And a big setup. Oh, and he gets it too. That's a nice yeah. shot. And now Emmett ties the score at four. Point. And then just like that, he ties it at four. And this is how quickly these matches can turn, Dave. A guy four can seem completely four. dominant. He, you know, scores 19 of the first 24 points in the match. A great dive from Emmett. But there was and contact that did slide. there. That did slide. I saw it slide, but there was contact when Emmett dove. And but that wasn't called. Did you see it? Yeah. I was surprised it wasn't called, but you can't call it now. No, no. I thought that that's what we're going to get was a replay no, of that. No, it slid on the no, sidewall. No, I saw, right I saw right it. There. Yeah, I yeah. saw the slide there. It was late, though, I thought. I thought it slid on the floor and the sidewall. It definitely slid on the floor. That just, to me, means there's wet gloves out I, there. I agree with you. Uh, that's not, to me, that's not, you're not going to get a wet floor without having the gloves That right there was why I thought the contact was going to be called. Nothing from the ref. That's where the ball I think jumps off the ground. Double slide. And then the ball was clearly wet because it slid on the on the spot where he dove. That's I thought why. he dove up here, but it slid in the, on the ground, then on the sidewall. Well, yeah, because the ball got wet from the ground. Oh. Okay. Yeah. But it, it hit the same spot that Resume Emmett just dove play. on. Four serving four. Great shot. Side out. But I love how not he's able to go over the top of that ball with his left hand. <clears throat> but Nate, not to make this all about me, but I won the first game yesterday, 15 to one. Then I'm up four to one. Then all of a sudden he made three four or four great shots four. in a row, and he was just in the match mm -hmm. from that point. And I think that's how quickly it can happen. That point. was a great serve right there. Naughty slides that ball down the wall. Not the same type of slide that's been five serving four called this afternoon here. Over. That's the thing with a good hop serve <coughs> like that. Second I've seen up. that same reaction from players multiple times. Naughty puts a natural hook. Five serving that four. That ball comes back to the left, and Emmett was playing it wrong, had to spin around. And if you're hopping the ball right, Dave, you will get hit by the ball a lot as a server mm -hmm. if you're hopping the ball because your opponent's going to be making some adjustments at the last second. They're going to try to just throw the ball back. You probably Six should be getting hit four. a lot. Or if you're Sean Lenning, you don't have to worry about getting hit because the ball never gets Short. touched. Well, it bounces five times before <laughs> the back wall. Yeah. Sean, Paul Brady, Andy Nett, they're actually serving Second kill serve. shots. You know, I don't think it's a coincidence that we have the best servers in the tournament are the ones still left in the tournament. Look at that. I believe, Dave, it's by far the most important shot. Emmett saying, stop that stupid, lazy swing. Referee could call the score here. Score is seven, serving four. <coughs> Emmett trying to pump himself up here, saying, you Short. know, stop that lazy swing. You know, hit the ball hard. Second serve. I like that. Look at that shot from Naughty. It's a very important rally in this match. Boy, that ball just <coughs> clips Side the sidewall and checks. Emmett knew it was an important rally. Emmett had three straight left hand back wall kill shot attempts. His best shot didn't put any of them away. Naughty had three chances of his own to end that rally, and Emmett ends up winning it with a touch pass behind Naughty to the right. You can choose. Now he's taking 30. Smart move. 30 seconds. He gets an additional 10 by asking the question of about yeah. the semantics of that 30 right. seconds. But this is a good spot for that 30, I believe, because Naughty did have a little extended rally right there. Alvarado up 7-4 to four in game number two after winning the first one 15-4. 15 seconds. Alvarado looks really good here in this tournament so far. 
I mean, we but shouldn't, you don't be, play? shouldn't be surprised. No, but, I'm but not, I, but I would never count four, them out. serving seven. No, absolutely. This could be a tiebreaker that goes two hours. And you see Emmett, perfect play there. And why doesn't he play this style throughout an entire match? I don't know. I mean, you Five, see a perfect serve, seven. which not hard for him Sorry. to do. Follows it up with a kill. Second serve. Oh. Naughty was making those early. Point. That's the first time the ball's hit the ceiling four times in a row in this Six match, and Naughty had seven. a huge setup. Uh, another one. A 30 second timeout did not help Naughty. Never does. Seven serving seven. Dave, I have yet in this tournament to see one player win the point after he called a timeout. Now I know you say they're calling him for 10 points later, so that it actually works out, I guess, in that sense, because they do eventually score. Yeah. And well, not in Katrina Casey or Sean Lenning matches. <laughs> Seen a lot of upsets, a lot of crazy scores. You see a lot here. of I mean, there's really been weird stuff going on in this tournament. But I, more so than ever, a lot of just completely dejected, deflated players that are losing heartbreaking matches. It's one thing, Dave, if you go in there and you lose 15 to 7, 15 to 5, it's, you're over it in a couple minutes, if that. You know, you lose 25 23 and. Resume play. 15 13 and a tiebreaker. I mean, seven that's not something seven. to get over. It's rough. Oh, terrible shot there from Naughty. And an even worse shot as Emmett gives him a second opportunity. Eight second rally right there. Seven serving seven. According to our shot clock. Dave, I think players need to go into the court and work on that shot. Throw it as hard as you can. And another terrible error from Naughty, whose legs look like they're a little bit heavy right now. But you throw the ball as hard as you can to the front wall, as high as you can from the short Point. line. Let it come off the back wall, then let it hit the front wall again and play that shot. You need that shot in a match. Okay. Eight yeah. serving seven. Well, Naughty just needed it. He'd be serving right now if he had it. Point. We had two eight and a half second rallies followed by a four second rally on the shot clock here. Well, that's mostly what handball is, okay, or well under 10 second rallies. Giving you some stats. No, I like them. Thank you. I won't and do it the whole match, just from a couple times. From four to seven to nine to four, minute. all because of that 30 second timeout, it was strategic. Five straight lost points. Meanwhile, Emmett had only scored eight points in the whole match. Do you think sometimes when you take that timeout that you're telling your opponent, you got me? Yeah. And your opponent's saying, yeah, I got you. Yeah. And so you're taking it because you're tired or you're, you, you just lost an advantage, and that's what. Yeah, well. But then you see other players say, you know, I, I, I take him to try to break the momentum of the other player. Mm -hmm. But does that work? No. Chapman it felt it did. Well, he felt it did, but he was winning because he was the best player, not because he was calling timeouts. In his mind, he thought that was part of his brilliance, but really it had nothing <laughs> to do with anything. <laughs> he was winning because he had the best shots. 30 seconds. I mean, are you going to tell me he wouldn't have won nine national titles if there would have been no timeouts in handball, that he would have, you know, only won three? No. He would have won the same amount. Okay. Still waiting the best for this player one. is going to win. Bichot has a lead here at 9-7 to seven after losing the first one 15-4. to four. Resume Alvarado's play. legs look a little tired. Now you have one timeout left. Even though the play's been Nine fairly quick seven. with the 8.5 second, 8.5 second, followed by 4 second rally. And, and that one there, oh, 4.03 seconds. So Nani's legs might point. look tired, but they're not from long rallies. Well, I think Ten, it's maybe seven. from not playing in a lot of tournaments. Short. That but, you know, short. Nani's just not making that short. extra adjustment Both step. Agree. He's not able to turn his feet the way he was, and it's costing him. He can't win rallies now because of it. Second serve. 
Nottie was up seven to three, and Emmett scored seven consecutive points here. And that's a shot Nottie has to put away, and he doesn't. These are all shots Nottie was putting away in game one. Dave, the timeouts I don't understand, but the Side headphone out. thing I don't get either. Now, you and I are wearing headphones so we can <laughs> you don't get but it, but I mean. No, I don't understand. What does that do when you wear the headphones well, before you play? I'll tell you what I like about it is yeah. I put them on so I don't have to talk to people. Seven and I think it, when you're in a tight area like it is here in, yeah. in the other spot, you put the headphones on, people don't bug you. And if you're focusing on a match and you don't want people to listen or talk to you and ask you questions oh. and tell you how great you are before you play somebody that might be the best player in the world, I don't put the I, I don't take the headphones. Ten, That's why I wear mine on the plane, so the person next to me right. doesn't. So pop you know me. the answer, then. Okay. I didn't. I thought it was some sort no, of. No, they're like not listening to music. Okay. All right. Because I don't listen to music. Oh, look at that plane. dive, re get kill right Side there out. from Nate Alvarado. That's not how you say. You his wear name. it. You wear it to defend yourself from these crazy people asking you a million questions about yourself, your health. I mean, uh -huh. that can get into your head a little bit when they start telling you how great you are before a match and. No, I'm not that it's ever happened to me. <laughs> Look at that replay there, yeah. Nadi. I'm well, just, just the thought of talking to anyone about anything for you. <laughs> it's really is difficult. Enough, yeah. Actually, I, you, you saw what happened to me. Yeah, I did. I laid down under the broadcast table, yeah. got into the fetal position. Yeah. But I'm now back on my seat. Well, it usually only takes you about three hours to recover from a two minute conversation with somebody. So it's not terribly bad. Seven serving 10. And it's six consecutive points now, Dave. They call me OCDV. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that serve. Well, right. Emmett just completely misplayed that. He has to be frustrated with himself because that was a returnable serve, and I'm not sure what happened in that back corner. Eight serving 10. Point. Dave, two aces when Nadi needed them really most because the Nine, wheels 30, were starting 10. to come off just a little bit. And Emmett over hits that. Oh, I think Nadi will take care of this. No, no, he won't. He goes to the opposite corner. Emmett gets it back. Stays down, though. Nadi goes for it. Gets it now tied at 10. Isn't that just the greatest feeling, though, Dave, when your opponent's lying on the ground that you know they can't move and you just hit it as hard as you can because there's into nothing the they can do. About into oh, the into ground? the ground, yeah. Okay, that's so what that's I, my move. Because yeah. that's what I No, I imagine if I didn't hit it into the ground how great it would feel. Yeah. But I always do. I so caught one one time. Yeah. <laughs> just to say I was the only person in the world to ever do it. Yeah. Because I knew what was going to happen, but it made me look funny. Okay, so the, that shot there from Alvarado Three. inside out, back sort of at Emmett's face. But it's kind of like an in-your-face right. move, actually. Kind of. Like, I could kill this, but I'm just going to hit it yeah. as hard as I can, and knowing that you can't get it. Yeah. One minute. It's fun. There's a one-minute timeout. Ten. Probably a smart one to call, too, as we tie the scoreboard here at 10. Nadi Alvarado trying to get five more points to force himself into another semifinal, which seems like he's lived a 22-year pro career or more. I know Nadi's mom will correct that on a text message, but 22 years of being in the semifinals almost every tournament he plays. Well, let's go to Kara Mack really quick, Dave, who's courtside, Kara. Hey, guys, we just talked to Danny Cordova. I have his other side of the match tomorrow, Cooney with me, and he's going to be put on the spot. I know you've already heard about this. You guys are all talking about it, cheating. At least I know Katrina is, so I don't know if you've come up with your answers for me, but I have five questions for you. Are you oh, ready? okay. I didn't hear any of this, no. Oh, no, sure. You're put on the spot. <laughs> the accent does not throw me off. All right, <laughs> fill in the blank. The best thing to do before any handball match, and don't cheat by looking. Uh, best thing to do? I suppose warm up. I'm going to be simple about it. Warm up for your handball match. You're What's not your warm up? Going in. Oh, this is like family that's, feud. That's, <laughs> you want the best that's a secret. I can't be. I can't be. Uh, can't be giving away that. Oh come on, that's the question. Uh, warm up. No, I do a warm up. I <laughs> yesterday it didn't look like I warmed up at all because Nanny just blew me out of the ten water. So ten. maybe I should change my warm up for the next one. Okay, next question. <laughs> next question. We'll take one more and we'll finish the next three after this. If you could be anyone. <laughs> Past or present, or not even in handball, just in general, Point. put someone on that court. Who would you want to be? Daniel Cordova tomorrow. <laughs> Perfect 11, answer. All right, we'll 10. see what happens with this one. We'll ask you three more later, okay? okay. Three Back straight ace serves for Nadia Alvarado. Oh, I thought he was going to get four. Oh, Great I love shot. that shot from Nadia right there. Point. <laughs> that was an amazing shot from Nadia Alvarado. It really was. And, you know, <laughs> Emmett, I could see, really upped his intensity in that rally. You could hear his shoes squeaking there. He had the opportunity, he wanted in that left corner, and just 
left it up about a foot too high and the ball comes off the sidewall and it's a tricky spin when it comes off that side wall after hitting the left wall and Naughty knew it, didn't take a chance in trying to hit a flat roll, just hit it 100 miles per hour skinny V pass and Emmett was just well, nowhere near play, it. You 12, said, serving 10. You said earlier that. Wow. Oh, there's another one. Point. What in the Andy net? <laughs> now that's Emmett get, trying to break the ice a little bit I don't and break Nadi's concentration. Yeah, I don't blame him. Well, that's a smart move, actually. Now, that is a good move. Better, 13, Much better than timeout. Earlier, you said that Nadi, when he hit that flat rollout, was the best shot you've ever seen. But that skinny V clip <laughs> was one of the best shots I've seen in this tournament. Oh, what about that? Oh, Emmett Thank gets you. it. Oh, that was a slide. Played over. Nadi saw it, too. Saw a slide. Nadi's got to be upset with himself. He hits a reverse there, and that ball's gone. Instead, I don't know if he slightly missed that one, but it bounces into the side wall. If he straightens that out, he wins that rally. Nadi hit about 5% harder in that rally, I think trying to force it just a little bit. And that's what happens when you're on the verge of a huge win. And Nadi's 13, had a lot of huge wins 10. in his life. Well, I know, but Hundreds. there's something different about yeah, this one. I and agree. If he were to get two more, if he were to do it, and he gets another ace, and now he's one shot away, and Emmett is really mad. The ball is wet, which would be a technical from the referee. Not going to be called. But if he gets another point, see, referee is just. I mean, he hit that with his head on purpose. I know, but if Nadi gets this next point, does he celebrate? I mean, emotionally no. celebrate. No, because I don't One think minute. he wants to give Emmett the satisfaction to know that it means that much to him. All right. That quieted me. I thought that was pretty smart, actually. <laughs> I mean. But, Dave, then Emmett, he headbutts the ball intentionally. Which it causes this timeout. No, he, then he called a timeout. So this actually was a called timeout. Is it a question? Yeah, my question is, why is not that a technical? It is. Just not called. Okay. So that's the technical on the ref, which are doled <laughs> out in fines. When you're on the court, your technicals actually cost you points. When you're in the booth or in the referee's box, they cost you money. And you okay. don't call them. Although our player could be fined for that also for unsportsmanlike conduct. 14, serving 10 in arrears, as they say. 14 to 10, this is match point. Does he get it right there again? Oh. Naughty saw it too. And I think that benefits Naughty because that was not a great serve. Well, and now he's in with a first serve. It wasn't bad. A Emmett's only reply was just to flip it up, but I think Naughty's going to go for this crack here. 10. So it does benefit him because Naughty's got, what, four out of six serves? Goes to the left, smart move, Naughty. Oh, oh my and gosh. He just missed that right corner kill. That was Ten, one of the biggest shots 14. of Naughty's 40-year-old career here. Dave, I'm going to predict overtime now after that miss. Wow. Well, can I take that back? <laughs> <laughs> it has been officially removed from the archive, sir. Okay. Thank you. Back in 14. Possible 10. match point. 14, serving 10. Naughty is in the driver's seat here. Goes to the left again. Strange that Naughty went over there twice. Oh, and he does it. Naughty takes it. Affected it. The, the rally, so match. Naughty decides to play through a bad bounce, and yeah, Naughty has that option. Yeah, he does, and he took it. And, and Emmett's going to argue this with the referee, but Naughty decides that he is going to take one. The rule is you have to stop play if you want it. Naughty didn't want to stop play because he had Emmett pinned where he wanted him. Not, not he takes it. Right. And he didn't, it wasn't as though he made any motion whatsoever that he didn't want it. I mean, the only person that can stop a play on a bad bounce is the referee, yeah. period. That's right. it. There's no other rule you need to know. Yeah. And the referee needs to call it immediately. But Naughty does it anyway. 15 to 4, 15 to 10, takes down Emma Pichot, goes into the semifinals to face either Paul Brady or Mondo Ortiz. And that is going to come up right around the corner here. And I know Naughty is emotional, even though Naughty didn't show it on the court there because we saw 
Emmett looking at the referee, but we are definitely going to get Kara Mack when she gets onto the court there. The only person that can stop play during a bad bounce is the referee, and the referee didn't stop it. <laughs> Slide and a bad bounce are the same. Kara Mack is courtside right now. Let's go to Kara. I do. I have Naughty here courtside. He's, he's warning me that he's really sweaty, and I think he earns the sweat every single ounce of it as he gets ready here. Congratulations. What does that, this me win mean to you? Well, you know, it's just, you know, put in some hard work after uh, Houston. Um, so that was helpful. And, you know, any win's a good win any day. We missed you in San Francisco. What have you been doing and preparing for this one here in New York? Well, playing a little bit more handball, but, you know, training wiser. Um, just taking longer breaks in between my matches and seem to be fresher. Unbelievable hits you're pulling off here. How did that feel against Emmett? Well, Emmett's been playing well, you know, just a finalist at the last event, so it's, uh, it's a nice win. Um, but, you know, the opponents just get tougher and tougher each round. So that's just a win on a good day and hopefully, you know, continues for the rest of the weekend. Everyone out there is asking, how old is he? What is going on? And is it neat to come in now and actually see some new players coming up and some younger guys coming well, of in? Of course. Of course. It's uh, good for the game. The WPH is doing some great stuff uh, for handball, for men and women. And uh, the young players are, you know, it's a tribute to uh, what the WPH has done for us. So it's great. What have you looked forward to most coming into this tournament? Oh, uh, bringing my wife along to let her see New York, even though we're not going to get to see it today again. So, but, uh, you know, having her here special and uh, this, the entire venue and the, you know, the uh, guests and members of this club have been really hospitable from since 1994. That's how long I've been coming here. Is your dad watching? Uh, I'm going to say yes. <laughs> he better be, right? Because that so. was amazing. So, yeah. That was a great win. Thank Congratulations you. and good luck. Thank you very much. Back to you guys. Yep, thank you, Kara. Nadia Alvarado Sr. is definitely watching. I mean, Naughty Jr., just so classy, Dave. Such a gentleman, unbelievable role model, and what a match he just played, Dave. I mean, absolutely fantastic handball. He executed almost every shot he attempted nearly flawlessly, only made five errors in the entire match, and just never allowed Emmett into the match. There was that one point where Naughty led 7-4 to four in the second game. Emmett scored six in a row to take a 10-7 to seven lead, and then Nadi runs the, the match out with eight straight after winning the first game 15-4. to four. Yeah, unreal. Yeah. Well, Paul Brady is now going to go up against Mondo Ortiz here. Very similar to last year's feel. Exact same round. Yes. And on the Actually, same that show was court? In, that was in the semifinals last year. This is a quarterfinal okay, match. Okay, right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Has the same feel, though. Yeah, and, you know, Dave, we talked about Nadia Alvarado and Emmett stretching together. They were doing hamstring stretches and kind of yucking it up as old buddies. That benefited Paul, Nadia. Well, <laughs> Paul Brady and Mondo have had their headsets on, their Bose headsets, I mean. Right. And there's been no talking, and they have been stretching but side they've by been, side. Yeah, next to each other, though. Yeah, but there has been no talking. They did stretch each other's hamstrings, though. Can they understand each other? <laughs> well, Do I feel like Kara Mack asking these questions? Who would you play in the Hollywood movie if, about yourself? You? I don't know what question that was. It was actually Ryan Reynolds. I'd like to play Paul Brady. If it was mm. to me. We're, we're going to take a break. We'll be back in just a bit. More action here on ESPN. Watch ESPN app for Jeff Kastner, Linda Manning, Dave Fink, Chris Grab. My name is Dave Vincent, as well as the help from Lolita De Vincent and, and Gene Casamoto. Kastner. We'll be back in just a bit on ESPN and the Watch ESPN app next. <laughs> 